Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this SharePoint Site Administration Primer. My name is Andy Hunsucker, and I'm with IT Training at Indiana University. And today, we're going to be talking about SharePoint Web Parts. Now, Web Parts are, again, with our customization theme, Web Parts are individual customizable modules, and they can be added to Web Part pages and other SharePoint pages. Uh, and the default front page of a SharePoint page is a Web Part page. So what can we actually do with these? Uh, well, a basic web part can contain views of any list or library. Okay, So uh, it can also create graphs of various lists uh, to display. So charts and graphs are available here in, uh, in, in these uh, web parts. Web parts, uh, I think my favorite use of web parts can be used to create a simple dashboard view of your SharePoint site. So if you have an announcements uh, section, you can put that right at the top. If you have a chart of daily tasks, you can put that up. If you have other information, you can sort of add that as well. Um, and chart web parts can be used to view data in different ways in a SharePoint site. So you don't actually have to create a thing and then upload it to the SharePoint site. Your uh, SharePoint site can actually analyze some of that data as well. There are many different types of web parts and let's talk about some of them now. All right, so let's talk about web parts and web parts are a way that we can customize the look and feel of a page like this, of our front page. We can create as many of these uh, dashboard style pages as we want um, for different purposes, but web parts are really great for sort of uh, visualizing different uh, parts of the site. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click the uh, Site Actions button, and I can click Edit Page because this is how I add web parts. I have to edit the structure of this page. I could also click this little button right here, but I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Page. If you don't see that button, it probably means you do not have access to edit web parts. So, I mean, when I'm in this site, this page, I can just delete things and I can delete all of that if I need to and uh, you know, type new stuff over here or whatever. Um, I can also add web parts, so here's how I do that. I'm going to put my cursor at the location where I want the web part to appear. I'm going to click the Insert uh, tab there, and then I could just click Web Part. There's lots of different web parts that I can add, and there's you know different ones that let me uh, do different things that are sort of built in with functionality there. And I'll go ahead and click the Lists and Libraries part up here at the top. And I'm just going to go ahead and go with Announcements. Um, so just having a little Announcements box right at the top of the page when people come in can be very helpful. And then I go ahead and click Add. And there it is. Now if I click this little drop down here, I can actually click Edit Web Part. And then I have access to various options here. So I can change the view. Um, and I can actually edit it or give it a, a view that I've already created. Um, I can change some things about the appearance. I can change the name and the width and height and that sort of thing. Uh, some of these other options are a little advanced for what we're doing today, but you can read about that in the book. But otherwise, uh, we don't have much else to talk about with uh, web parts. So uh, what you can do is uh, if you want to keep looking through the, uh, the, the book here, you can start on page 246 and uh, do a few of those. So 246, uh, 249, there's another exercise that's really good. The chart web part, statusless web part on 252 is good. Um, all those are very interesting, and um, uh, all those are definitely worth going through. When you're done editing this page, you click back on the uh, Page tab, and then you click Save and Close, and then you'll be all done. Now it's the new page. Looks great. You can also add an announcement right from there. And edit it however you want in there. You can see items and list tabs and all that stuff. So that's great. So that'll be it for web parts, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.